Hey guys, it's Vincent, and today is episode 8 of my art prompt series. Uh, and as you can see, this prompt is Space and Eels, which was completely inspired by Casey Golden, like this entire series. <laughs> With my sketches, I basically just drew out different shapes that the eels could be in. Um, because I already knew what I wanted to do with it. Uh, so I just went with the first sketch that I did, uh, as I felt that that showed the body the best and it was, I guess, the most dynamic out of all of them. Um, so yeah, that's just the basic line work done and then I'm going in with uh, masking fluid just to put a bunch of dots all over the place to create the illusion of stars because this space eel that's my head that's really yep that's attractive put that away um yeah this space eel has space inside of him <laughs> he is an eel made of space um just because i thought that would be more fun than doing eels that were actually in space. So for the little fin bit and the bit around the edge of the tail I just kept it nice and pale and then with the rest of the body I go in with much darker colours and just keep building it up. Um, trying to keep it as wet as I can so that the colours kind of bleed into each other using all spacey colours so uh, I think I've got three different purples there um, one which is a kind of pink purple, that one right there <laughs> um, and then two kind of violet colours one is darker than the other and then I have uh, darkish blue and then two slightly paler blues <laughs> and I also use black as well and these are the um, Kuratake watercolour paints look how cute he is little creepy friend But yeah, I just kept layering the colours up to try and get it as vibrant as I could. Because space isn't pale. There is no pastel in space. <laughs> so yeah, then this is just going in with black in just a few areas. I didn't want it to completely take over. So just trying to keep it as wet as I can to get it to just blend in I guess <laughs> bleed into the other colours and then using the same colours that I did on the eel I filled in the bubbles And then just filling in his eye with a bit of grey and mouth as well. And that is the main portion of the watercolour done. Um, and now it's just going on to the line work. For this I'm just using a, um, I think it's Winsor & Newton. I think it's noir black. Ivory black. There we go. Ivory black. Um, isn't that contradictory? Isn't ivory white? I don't know. Anyway. Um, yeah, so it's just using that. I put water into the little pot 
thing <laughs> just so it gets kind of sticky so that I get a really opaque colour and just use a tiny little thin brush to line it all This is just much easier to control than a brush pen and you still get a similar kind of um, outcome from it. Although this does take much longer time, <laughs> but I think it's worth it because I get the control that I want and the look that I want. I didn't really have any order that I was doing the line work in, <laughs> just whatever area I looked at first <laughs> I then lined. Usually I would like to uh, move my image around while I'm lining it so that I don't get my hand on certain areas but um, I had taped this page down <laughs> I think I'm gonna have to get some kind of board or something that I can tape my stuff to to make it easier so I can still spin it around Don't you think he looks so cute? Look at his weird little face. <laughs> I'd never drawn an eel before and I didn't realise that they had like little, little fins. It's interesting. I also didn't know that some of them had teeth. Why would they have teeth? What do they eat? Then this is just adding little details. And then, yep, this is just rubbing away all the masking fluid to reveal the white underneath for the stars. And then going in with a white gel pen and adding just little lines and a lot more stars to make it look that extra bit spacey. I love this pen. When I first used it, I for some reason couldn't get it to work, like it just wouldn't lay on top of any colours, but the more I've used it, <laughs> the better it's been. I don't know. And then this is using another um, watercolour paint. This is just a cheap brand, I can't remember what it is, um, but I just mixed it up really quite thick so that I could do the background and it would be opaque rather than like a wash of colour. I like my black to be black. <laughs> so this is just going around everything, leaving a little bit of a white border just to make things stand out a little bit more. This is something I only started doing like a week or two ago, but I've become completely obsessed with it. And basically every painting that I have done the past few weeks has a black background. <laughs> I think it looks cool, so I don't mind. I 
I should probably find a way that I can do it in a slightly neater fashion though because um, I'm not very good at controlling paints in any way <laughs> and a lot of it gets closer to the uh, drawing than I would like it to but oh well I'm sure with practice I'll get better at it but yeah I had a lot of fun with this as soon as I saw that the prompt was space and eels I knew straight away what I wanted to do <laughs> my little spacey friend I think he is so cute. He's stuck up on my wall already, so I can just look at him. Now just removing the tape. Also, all of my paintings recently have had this border as well. Slowly creating a style for myself, I suppose. And there you go. Uh, I really hope you enjoyed this. I had a lot of fun making this. Uh, and if you did, please like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!